Now here's something to be concerned about if you're heading to Queensland for summer holidays. Take mozzie repellent and wear plenty of it. Earlier this month an outbreak of dengue fever was declared in Cairns. Now there are 34 confirmed cases. And while dengue traditionally occurs up north, the fear is that as the weather warms up, diseased mosquitoes may move south. Some of the blokes in the 1981 epidemic said they called it the three-day hangover. But it can be much more serious than that. It can kill people. There's no vaccine, no specific treatment. But a single bite from a dengue-infected mosquito can be devastating. A mild fever can escalate to a severe, even fatal disease. Effectively, white cells uh, leak out of your blood vessels and you'll have extensive bleeding, um, sometimes from every orifice. In early 2004, two North Queenslanders died from dengue. Now another outbreak, this time in the Cairns suburbs. 34 confirmed cases, two requiring hospitalisation. Annually our average is about 300 a year. You get infected with, say, dengue type 1, and it will not protect you from dengue types 2, 3 and 4. While dengue has mainly been confined to North Queensland and the Torres Strait Islands, it was detected two years ago in the Northern Territory, in New South Wales, well before that. Now there are fears that climate change could see the disease travel even further south. It depends on the vigilance of the public health authorities in New South Wales in particular. Of course, the pesky mozzie is responsible for the spread of many more diseases, including malaria, Ross River fever, as well as the flesh-eating Bairnsdale ulcer. I could have lost my foot, they told me, had it gone untreated. Melbourne mum, Julie, fell victim. I'm a gardener, they think it's a mozzie bite, maybe it's something in the soil, I don't know. They just don't know. It's highly likely that they are producing these mosquitoes in man-made containers around the yards and they need to take steps to uh, ensure that there aren't mosquitoes breeding in uh, rainwater tanks, even in potted plants. In Cairns there's a blitz to eradicate dengue mosquitoes. Queensland Health inspecting backyards, setting traps, warning residents to remove all potential breeding sites. The dengue mosquito basically bites in the daytime um, and um, so if you get bitten by mosquitoes in the daytime, you should be concerned that maybe it's the dengue mosquito. Symptoms include sudden fever, headache, muscle and joint pain, vomiting, fatigue, abdominal pain or a rash. The first thing is personal protection. And Jackie Quist was the reporter.